I have a document open here called National Surf, which you can find from the working folder. In the next few exercises, we're going to take a look at the layers panel in more detail. It plays a pivotal role in your editing for any document. We've already seen from the previous exercises that to make changes to your document, you have to click on the correct layer to apply those edits to it. So it will have to be around on screen somewhere for you to be able to edit effectively. And that starts by identifying the layer that you wish to edit. First of all, take a look at the thumbnail and see the artwork in there and then read the layer name. To make life easier, you can change the view of the thumbnails that are associated with each layer. If I take my cursor into an empty portion of the layers panel and right click, you're given four options. You have no thumbnail, which just gives you a symbol and a text description. You have small thumbnails, medium thumbnails, and then finally, large thumbnails. Clearly, there is a trade-off. If your layers panel has to fit into a smaller area on screen with large thumbnails, you're going to have to do a lot of scrolling up and down to find the layer in question. Conversely, if it's set to no thumbnails, then sure, you can have a small area allocated for your layers panel, but it does become a little bit more time consuming trying to identify which layer you wish to edit without seeing a thumbnail. You can go up to the panel menu at the top right hand side and go down to panel options. Well, you'll notice that we have those same options for the thumbnails, but also you'll notice this section called thumbnail contents. By default, Photoshop will show you the artwork in every layer, but in context with the size of the actual documents canvas. If you wish to just see a thumbnail, the actual artwork in each layer, then you can click on layer bounds. When I click OK, you'll now see that it is much clearer to be able to identify the content in each layer. But the default, as I say, is that it's set to be shown in context with the entire canvas size. Those are the ways in which you can change the thumbnail views in the layers panel.